Concept number two, homeostasis. You see, homeostasis means similar standing. And this means that your body likes to stay within a set point of a variety of different values. These values can be things like blood pressure, blood sugar or blood glucose, body temperature, blood pH. All of these are called homeostatic variables. These values must fall within a specific range. So for example, your blood pH needs to stay between 7.35 and 7.45 on the pH scale. If it drifts out of that, you could be in trouble and your body won't function properly. So think about homeostasis as like a thermostat. So how does a thermostat work? Well, you set your thermostat to a certain temperature, say 72 degrees, or if you live with your grandparents, more like 78. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. And if your house gets too warm in the summer, as your home temperature raises to 73 or 74 degrees, what will kick on? Well, obviously your air conditioning. The air conditioning will turn on, blow cool air into your house, and bring that temperature back to the set point. And vice versa, in the winter, if your home drops below 72 degrees, your heater will turn on, raising it back to that set point. This is usually how your body maintains homeostasis. So to take an easy example, if you begin to get too hot, what does your body do? If you look at my armpits, you can probably tell. You begin sweating to cool your body off. And if you get too cold, your body might start to shiver to generate more heat to get that temperature back to the set point. And here's an important point. If your body is incapable of bringing itself back to that set point, you have a disease. So for example, if you are diabetic, you struggle regulating your blood sugar levels. Blood sugar is a homeostatic variable. And if you're a diabetic, you can't control your blood sugar levels very well. So therefore, you have a disease diabetes. So all of this leads me really well into concept number three, 